Yes. Hi. Welcome back. Old dogs, same tricks. Democrats and Republicans. Trump, sleepy Joe Biden. Their ideas are boring and dumb. The end. Wars, drug wars, mudslanging. That might all be fine and dandy for the military, prison, and media industrial complexes. But all of you looking for another option, there is an alternate to binary politics. And she's on the ballot in all 50 states. I said she. Yeah. Here with me tonight, spreading hot freedom, Libertarian Party presidential nominee, Joe Jorgensen. Welcome to the show, Joe. Oh, it's an honor to be on your first show back. Thank you. Oh, thanks so much for being here. So one of the biggest issues I encounter when I talk to people about voting, particularly in this election, is uh, people say, how dare you vote for someone other than Joe Biden because Donald Trump is a racist. And if you don't vote for Joe Biden, you're a racist and you're throwing your vote away. What do you say to people that they're throwing their vote uh, away if they don't vote for someone who's got 40 percent in the polls? Well, I give a reason to both Trump and Biden voters. And to Biden voters, I say, you know, the Democratic Party I grew up with in the 60s, they were anti-war. They were for the little guy. And also they believed in free speech. And the Democratic Party is nothing like that anymore. They muzzled Tulsi Gabbard, the only anti-war voice out there. And we all know that the Democratic Party machine chose Joe Biden. So what I would tell a voter is, you know, if Joe Biden was your best pick and you like the fact that he's a war hawk, and you like what he's doing, great, vote for him. But if you want to send a message to the Democratic Party, hey, let us pick our own people. And by the way, the Democratic Party isn't acting like Democrats anymore. No, they're not. They're acting like socialists, but frankly, so are Republicans with all of this big spending. The only difference is Republicans are actually talking about cutting taxes. Democrats are going to raise them. They're, they're going to raise spending phenomenally. And, and that, to me, is the biggest issue in this election that no one's talking about. Well, except Trump raised taxes, or I'm sorry, spending yes, phenomenally. he did. I mean, There's Trump no came doubt in about and it. said, hey, I'm an outsider. I'm a businessman. I know how to balance the budget. I'm going to cut the deficit. I'm going to cut spending. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to bring the troops home. And he did none of that. His uh, the, the deficit went up faster under him than under Barack Obama. So I've been telling Trump voters, hey, if you like the fact that Trump is spending more than Barack Obama, great, vote for him again. But if you want to tell Trump, look, we voted for you because you're an outsider. We want you to act like an outsider. Yes. Then vote for me to send him a message. All right, that's fine. I, I have no problem voting for you. I do have an issue with you cheering the fact that someone who, who put an All Lives Matter post on their personal Facebook page was fired by their company. Do you really think that that was a good idea by the private company to fire someone for oh. a post on their private Facebook account? Oh, I hope it didn't sound like I was cheering for it. What I was saying is that's how the free market works. So what I'm saying is that the government has no accountability. The government can discriminate, as they did with Rosa Parks. It was a government-run bus that discriminated against her and told her to sit on the back of the bus, while 60% of the bus ridership were blacks. If Uber did that, they would be out of business in no time. And so I gave an example of how somebody put All Lives Matter. Now, here's the thing. The All way right, the free go, market Joe. works. Yep. Okay. But Joe, I want to talk to you again. Uh, I, I do want to talk to you again before the election. Hopefully we can improve your audio and I'll be talking to you again on another medium very, very soon. Joe Jorgensen, thanks again. Okay. Thanks. Topical Storm is next. It's here.